So as the warning says on the video title and description, this is a live feeding. And I'm just sending this primarily to my reptile friends. Um, you know, uh, two weeks ago, I was really stressing and anxious about whether or not the little snake named Sigurd the uh, African green bush snake, you know, that stays in the trees all the time. But it had a companion, a knoll, uh, a small one, and it finally ate the anole. Uh, I'd never seen it show any interest in it, and I guess that's how it got it. But I just got another anole. It's quite a bit larger than the first one. Put it in the habitat and maybe gone 10 minutes setting up a, a little cricket a small cricket a, a pinhead they're called little bitty cricket um, actually it was for this anole and i got another lizard to go with uh, one i had got um, also two weeks ago so i decided not to that one's been in with nelson um, some of you know Nelson's my Indonesian blue tongue skink. And of course he couldn't catch that if he wanted and unless the thing sat on his snout and jumped in when he had it open, there's no danger. But anyway, I decided to keep it and I got it a little companion and it is so excited just displaying with the little guy that I put in there. So, um, I mean, just really, you could tell thrilled to see it. And I have managed not to show hardly any of this, which is probably preferable to most of it. I don't have any specific affinity to watch anything eat something else. Um, I did notice that he killed the anole. Uh, he didn't constrict it. He bent it in two. Still got just a little of the tail sticking out, but he made quick business with that. I missed it in the in the habitat here, and the plants are coming on out. They're getting so tall, and they have to trim that or move it back out and put something else in. Hey, baby, you got your meal, huh? can see a little bit of his coloration and pattern. Well, he's totally in bliss. So you got it down there. It's all gone. feel horrible for the anno, but that's what this guy has to eat. So watching his face. It's mist on the leaves. Such a clean little snake, too. He passed or threw up a little tiny skeleton, just a perfect skeleton of the other I know. And uh, before I could get it out, it fell down off the leaf. It's totally dry. I mean, so I think he just threw it up, um, which snakes can do, bones and so forth, that they don't, don't want to digest. So yeah, we don't have to worry about him for another week now. Of course, this is gonna help him grow. And he should have a shed soon from regular eating. So yeah, sorry for all the glare, the shaky, and all of that, yada yeah, yada. But just wanted to document that. I see him somewhere right there. But He's on the move, darn it, there he is. See how he colored up, how gorgeous he is. He doesn't just stay green all the time. I've noticed in the literature, in my research, that uh, they're called speckled or spotted. He's working that an old down. And if he had to eat it, I guess it was, they just got that an old in at the place I got it today. and. Anyway, 
served a good purpose to circle of life. Still washing his face. Was concerned that it was a little bit big for him, but he didn't have any trouble. He had no trouble with it doubled. Getting it in. I don't want to keep talking too graphic, but as I said, reptile people will enjoy it. There he is. He's on the move again. been sitting here watching me for a couple of days, so we had to go to get some other supplies anyway. And thought I would just pick a companion slash lunch up for him. So that worked out fine. I'll be able to catch, and I have plenty of them, and spring little lizards and anoles and so forth to give him all right guys that's it on this end holly said get off and pet me your eyes looking a little funky girl yeah thanks guys appreciate you so much